noise down in Cornwall. That was very nice. Still getting that 4,000 Island experience, but with all the other luxuries also, we're not missing out. back on the road 13 uh, we're gonna follow the river up along this village there okay this is caught in the eye Nene says it might be a brick factory She may be right. But are they big kilns or something? Okay. She probably is right. Massive big brick kilns. Okay, we've blown the air, air in through here. No signs, no nothing. As old as it looks, I thought it was abandoned. I'm starting to think maybe it's still operational because there's still tools in that here. Nobody about. Cooked, but bricks. Bricks were a giveaway. Yeah. You're right. One of those yes, few yes. times that you are right. Hey. <laughs> I'm always <laughs> right, mate. Industrial estate. No. Because there's more there's more there. There's more there. We just stopped at this shop for some goodies for the road. Probably got about 60k to go. This lady here got this shop running here. Her husband is in the US. He lives in the US. She'd rather stay here in Laos. She is more happy in, in Laos, she says here. So I don't blame her. 
nothing against the US, it could be Australia, it could be Great Britain, it could be Europe, anywhere. But, yeah, she decided to stay here, let him go to the US. Uh, she's living the um, Riverside Village life here and loving it. She gets tired, she rests. She doesn't have to do anything. It's so more chill here. Her little business and a home here. Not a very busy road. Route 13 runs parallel with this. This is just the river road. But like many people here, they're here for the chill life. Just the easy pace. She's had the choice. Didn't want to give up Lao. Her sister's married to an Englishman, but no, they're not in England. <laughs> They've settled in Vientia. He didn't want to go back home, the Englishman. Story I've heard many times. The longer you stay here, the harder it is to leave. What is it? Okay, yeah. That's just Facebook. <laughs> ah. Facebook. What's this? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Lao Bong Ya. Lao Bong Ya. Sounds whiskey. Ah, okay. So it's not water and honey. That's why. Native medicine. Native medicine. Whiskey. In the whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> when you drink, you will. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a look down the river. We should be about adjacent where we stayed. Now you know he's having a good old chin wag. So we'll go for a look. A Captain Cook, a squeeze. Not a squeeze, as some think I say, a squeeze. Have a squeeze at this. I don't know where it come from, but it means have a look. Hello, it's a baby. They were there all along, I didn't see them. They went quiet when the furung come along there we go yeah there's a bit of a back street here that they're living on too another old forgotten boat that is made out it's not real old it's not just one tree it's made out of planks but been freshly whipper snipped weed whack brush cutted for me. How you going, Chuck? Well, there you go. I knew we weren't far away. That's it over there. I think Mum's just gone and lost the Chooks in all this undergrowth. Kong Island, guys. Still a nice, chill place to relax with your own transport. The hotel did have free bikes to ride around, walk around. So if you're not keen on getting a boat and being stranded on an island without um, wheels, that'd be the place to go. If you want a little bit more luxury, it doesn't, it doesn't have to have luxury. I showed you, 150,000 kip, you can stay there. Seven US dollars, right on the river. much bigger island with a lot more options but if you want that tom hanks castaway feel about it don Depp. the next step up from that don con and if you want a real farm feel don some it's a great little riverside um guest house there cow. Gin cow. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Don Kong, Kong, drive your car straight on there, look around, go wherever you like, then leave whenever you like, not relying on a boat, not being trapped over there. 
I do really enjoy Don Kong. Don Kong now. Just without the vehicles, without the noise of them, you know what I mean? Just the isolation, the peacefulness. It's something different. Something you have to experience. How's this for timing? We've only just pulled up and the boat's here. Ooh, we could have been waiting an hour or more. Good man. Okay. One more passenger to come. We have just left um, the island of Donkorn and made our way back up north along Route 13 to the, uh, this village of Tarpo. Now going to hit up the western side of uh, the Mekong. This far south it is still it is still Lao on the western side. Um, there's a land border between Thailand and Lao this far south. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, that is where we're heading guys Hello How are you Nene? Good, I'm good I'm good You're good, good. Ha ba Khan pen mau dai luk Khan thao mau pen Sumut ba bumi phai pai nam thao Ba luk Khan thao Khan bumi phai pai pai nam thao Thao mau pai ni thuk Sen Ha, no? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oi, no, 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 no. Hasipan. Which is four Aussie dollars. Just about 260, 270 US to get your car across here and all of us also. That guy yesterday wanted to charge us 400,000 just to take the three of us on his boat across so we could eat at a restaurant and have a look at some of the shops we're going to do that now with our car oh, oh it's on it i can't i can't get over the impeccable timing our timing getting on we drive down the road and straight onto the boat we didn't have to wait i thought We'll probably have it, yeah. end up having to have lunch there and wait around in the yeah. heat and maybe that, that's monk that. monk man is looking <laughs> after me. Yeah. Monk man. We do too in this trip. And come and the other night in the dark on that road, we hit this big.
big divot culvert thing in the road. Bounced yeah. everything through the car. Never even damaged the car. It just it's been running good ever since. <laughs> well we fixed it. Rado probably thought he was being punished and he he's knocked himself into gear since then. Whoops. Better start behaving myself. He has been pretty good this trip. <laughs> Plastic wood, touch wood. When, That's wood. when you say something but you don't want it to come true, mm -hmm. it's a superstition or oh, touch wood. And, touch wood. And that prevents it from happening. Then you have more happening. wood, how you have to do it. That's why I was touching your head, it's just wood. <laughs> side of the Mekong in Lao. Mung Moon District. Mulapamot. Mulapamot. Yeah. Oh, I said it. Mulapamot. Mulapamot. Bit of a ring to it, hasn't it? Mulapamot. Is that right? Yeah. Mulapamot. <laughs> Do I sound Lao? Yeah. Mulapamot. Yeah. Call you now. Just saying, and needing down here in the south, it's much harder to see the people who need the help because they're not sitting out the front of their homes like they do in the north. And it's because she pointed it out they've got much more land here. They're off the side of the road. They're not built. Hello, Sabadi. Hello. Sabadi, uh, this for you. Oh, lots of children. Look at all the girls. All the, all the girls. You take that up to mum. Take up to mum. <laughs> I get some cookies. Not a boy to be seen. Here you go. Ben Kanomba. <laughs> Bob and Young. <laughs> Little girls working, yeah. Let's see how you do it. On your toes. Ah. That's a little bit different than the other lady was showing us. Showed us on the inside of a, a foot. Yeah. That's a gun. Mm. Ah. 
I, I hope we haven't shamed these ladies into coming out and helping also. Yeah. Also on now today. อย่าไปลอกคอกะนอตไหลแดนเนี่ยลอกเปลี่ยนตะวันออกเนาะสิเยอะใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใ
so many buffalo down here. Lots of whiteys too. There's a whitey. Seen some yellow ones, the gingers. The ginger ninja buffaloes. Yeah, you are they're loving that mud, aren't they? Yeah, these guys got in their car. Car. <laughs> Tractor. Maybe that's a trailer. And then we can home, ma. We can home. Very lily, it can home. Yeah, umbrella. It is, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Shade. It's a shade cloth. These, some of these holes have got no bottom to them. Okay, guys. Finally come to the end of the road for road 23 and a half. Well, it's come into the uh, Sukumar district, Sukumar district market just there. Um, go in and have a look, but what a rural country town. We're slowly making our way up to what uh, yeah, we've been there before a couple of years ago, but it was in the dry season. I'd like to see what it's like in the wet season now, being green. It's usually just brown and dust, but very interesting to see at this time of year. See what they got in here, maybe give some lunch. Some camo hats there, but I've got plenty of camo hats now. What are you doing? Okay, looks like all the excitement's on the outside for sure. We'll go for a squeeze out the back, eh? Go for a squeeze? Okay. Okay. Okay, not a good place to stand here. Pigeons up above. Okay, lots of gold shops. I haven't um, haven't seen them with the bars around them before. And what's out the back, eh? Okay, all your fresh food. Fresh produce, some fish, and more rubbish, guys. More rubbish. Lost Nina already, but I'll keep walking. So I'm find the restaurant area, hey. Ah, some pomelos coming into pomelo season. Is that me? No, somebody else's phone ringing. A lot of vendors, not many people. Though it is the middle of the day. Mm. Mina calls Nini Manny. Not like Kong Manny, her last name, but Manny means. Mare means mother, knee, is it knee knee? Mum knee. Mare knee. Just a coincidence, that's the second part of knee knee's Lao name, Kong Mini. The carnival section, meat and eggs. The baby. Ciao, Mania. 
Dale hit, Minya. What you do? Hello, Sabadi. All right. We're just going to eat on the road. Still got a fair bit to travel today. Fair bit to do. Definitely don't want to run out of light again. Sabadi. Always looks good. Oh. Tell day. Jet set. Jet sip, so we're looking about six Aussie bucks a kilo. What we'd pay back home, but I like grapes. Okay, okay. That's some grapes. <laughs> you held them for me, darling. Thank you. Everybody is so attracted to Mina because they just automatically think she's a half a run girl. Thinking she's just got a bit of a tan up that looks like a farang. People have said, she's sort of got your nose. She does look like you. Hey, Wen Jang Day. It's a lady. Not just here, but this entire trip. Some have actually said, can you speak Lao? Jiao Pasa Lao? Jiao Wao Pasa Lao? She just comes straight out with it. Of course she can. I don't need to explain 